Yes, I know, I know, I know. It's been two to three weeks. But let me explain. First, I've been on the academic grind. Two, for those of you that are asking if I have music on the way, I've been writing rhymes. Three, I've been trying to find a way to make more time. But to be honest, I just have a lot that's on my mind. Yo, what's up y'all? Welcome back to the channel. It is episode 6 of season 1. Anyways, you guys, welcome back to the channel. And like I was saying in the intro, there has been a lot on my mind lately. I have been writing rhymes lately and I've been trying to make time lately to make these videos. But what I mean by I have a lot of things on my mind, basically there are things that are to come to the channel that I simply cannot fathom. I can't express or explain them just because it take too long and I also don't want to spoil any of the future content we have in, I have in mind for the channel. So today, I'm going to be talking about the value of serving. Now what is serving? Serving is simply providing a service without expecting anything in return. Serving is basically putting others needs before your own. Serving is giving up your own time, your own money, your own energy, your own labor for the benefit of others. Now here at my school, if you guys don't know, I go to Indian Bible College located here in Flagstaff, Arizona. Here at IBC, we have a serve day every single semester, both in the fall and in the spring. And in serve day, we basically go out into the community and serve them. Now we have a street that we adopted, which we go around, we clean, pick up trash. Trust me, we find some weird things. Homie Terrence found two broken crack pipes. We found drug paraphernalia and it's just ridiculous, the things that we find. Some other things we do, sometimes we go to the food bank, we package food for families that need food. But one of the most beloved things that we do is we reach out to our neighbors around the school, around the block, and we clean the yards, we rake leaves, and we talk to them. But you guys, this video, I'm going to be jumping in and out of serve day montages. So hopefully you guys enjoy the B-roll that was taken. I tried to get cinematic with it. Last year, I filmed it all on my phone, but this year, as most of you know, I am currently filming on the A6400, and hopefully it turned out better. I'm pretty sure it did, because this is a major, major, major upgrade from, from this, the iPhone 8. Like, the iPhone 8 doesn't even touch the Sony, of course, because the camera is what they do. But the first point, it creates a relationship. Now, us reaching out to our neighbors, it's really awesome because you get to have these awesome conversations with people you don't really know. You get to have talks about their family, where they come from, how they came to Flagstaff, and really it's just cool to talk to new people, step out of your comfort zone, get outside the box, provide a service for them, and in providing a service for them, you know, they're gonna want to communicate with you, talk to you, discuss things with you. But anyways, yeah. The second thing I've written down is it's giving back to your neighborhood. You know, we live here in Sunnyside Flagstaff. And so Serve Day is a way that we give back to our neighbors, those that are around us. And it's basically us just saying, hey, we know you're our neighbor and we want to acknowledge you. We want to show that we appreciate you. Thank you for being our neighbor. Third. I noticed that it also gave our school, IBC, a team bonding experience. It was a way to create unity. Uh, we were placed under pressure in the midst of labor. Some of us may have gotten frustrated. Some of us may have gotten heated with some others. Some of us may have not even wanted to go out and serve the community. But it created unity within our community and it was a team bonding experience. The fourth thing that I have written down is that it's it's a way of life. You know, serving shouldn't just be this thing that you do every now and then. Because if you think about it in relationships you serve, 
in family, you cook, you clean. In your dorm, you cook, you clean for others and those around you. So really serving is a way of life. It's just not a momentary thing that you do every now and then. Really, it can essentially become who you are, a part of who you are. And I think that's just pretty cool. The fifth thing I have is it shows love. Like, like I said before, it shows that you appreciate those that you're serving. Now, there's some people that use people to get things that they want, but the opposite of that is doing things for people to show how much you value them. Not because you value things, but because you value people. Therefore, you're gonna do things for people because you love the people. You're not gonna use people to get the thing. You're gonna do things to show your love for the people, if you know what I mean the people anyways yes serving it's a way to show love and care and kindness and acknowledge those that are around you it's not just you in the universe the world doesn't revolve around you there's other people so it's a way to spread love uh spread community spread that neighborly love like our, our brother mr rogers always did but yo anyways this video is very short simple to the point i hope you guys enjoyed it Remember, like I said in the beginning of the video, there is a lot of things that I have in store for this channel. And on the topic of serving, I'm actually going to be shooting a wedding tomorrow, free of charge. I'm just doing it. I'm just going to serve. I'm excited. Congratulations to Tim and Chelsea. Thank you guys so much for reaching out to me. Hopefully this video encouraged you to get out, serve more. It's 2.20 a.m. It's Sunday, November 3rd, and I need to be getting my behind to sleep. <sighs> but other than that, big, big, big announcement on the way. It's gonna shock you guys. The th next thing that's gonna come to the channel. And that's all I have for this video. Go serve, get out, show love to your community, do something for your neighborhood. <sighs> be like Mr. Rogers, be a good neighbor, okay? Love your neighbor more than you love yourself. Serve them, put their needs before yours. And stay blessed, y'all. Be safe out there. Hope you guys have an amazing morning, afternoon, evening, night, whatever time of the day you're watching this. But anyways, it's me, your boy Jacob James, signing off. See you on the next episode. Bye. Yeah, Y'all, go outside. Go rake your neighbor's yard. Go pull their weeds. Go babysit. Go dog sit. Go cat sit. Make the hood look good. <laughs> uh, okay, I think I'm tired. Let me go to bed.